Hello, good day friend. Today we'll see how we can access our Linux virtual machine in Azure. Okay, so let us see this in action. So I'm here in the in a virtual machine which I have created. It has a public IP address. Okay, so to access a virtual machine, uh, you need public IP address and you need to if it's the Linux VM and if you're connecting SSH, you need to open the, you need to allow that in the inbound port rules, you need to allow that port. If it's not a public VM, if it is a private VM, in that case, you can connect to a virtual machine in different ways. That will come in my uh, other videos. You can connect it via Bastion, that is here. Via Bastion, you can do. You can connect via Jump Server. You can connect via load balancer NAT rules. You can connect via firewall NAT rules. Okay. So I will show all those. Also, you can connect via VPN. So there are five ways you can connect to a private virtual machine. But if it is a public virtual machine, you have public IP address, then you can connect to it. If it is a Linux, you can connect via uh, SSH port 22. But you remember, you need to add it here. It doesn't come by default. Okay, if you don't add it here, you won't be able to connect to it. If it is a Windows VM, you need to allow RDP port, that 3389. You need to add that as inbound port rule. If you click on that, the, this will come. Okay, and you need to add that. So now, to I, I would uh, connect to it via a software called Putty. And then... So you see I got connected okay now if I uh, I can update the package app package and also if I want I can install a web server uh, Apache 2 okay So it's installed now i can now this has become an web server i can go here and i can copy the ip and I, if i go and if i paste that and if i try to run that you see i am not able to reach to that the reason because as i told in the networking you have to add the you have to allow the port 80 okay now if i click on add this is, is i'm allowing port 80 and now after some time it will be reflected now you see this is available we can see uh, Apache 2 default page so that is how uh, you can access virtual machine also if you uh, convert it into a web server you can you need to add you need to allow the particular port and then you will be able to access it thank you for watching this